now let's look into uh, at an another uh, kubernetes object that's a config map so if you put uh, the config map uh, uh, in a simplistic way so it is a way of uh, uh, storing the environment variables and files in a one kubernetes object and uh, whenever you want you can use it uh, uh, wherever you want and whichever pod is required we can inject these config maps into that pod so that we can easily use them without writing or rewriting them again and again and again if it is a small of one or two pieces of environment variables it's not required but whereas when you deal when you deal with a very complicated and complex uh, uh, applications in that case you are going to have a lot of environment variables and a lot of files so in that case it's very difficult to write those things again and again and again so what will we do is we will create a config map so once the config map has been created we will inject that config map into any pods that we are going to build and if you want to specifically uh, map uh, certain environment variables uh, certain files that is also possible so that's what uh, we're going to see here so what is a config map config map is an api object used to store non-confidential data in key value pairs pods can consume config maps as environment variables command line arguments are as configuration files in a volume so what all it takes it takes environment variables and command line arguments and also it takes configuration files inside the volume modes before we have seen volumes object so volumes object now we can basically store a uh, configuration files inside that volumes object after that whenever you want you can inject uh, these into the pods which you are going to run so these pods can consume config maps as three environment variable command line argument and config file okay configuration files so a config map allows you to decouple environment specific configuration from your container images so that uh, your applications are easily portable now the before we see config map object example so what's the motivation behind a uh, bringing a config map that should be understood okay so use a config map for setting configuration data separately from application code that's the important point for example imagine that you are developing an application that you can run on your own computer that's in basically we call it as a development uh, uh, stage or development environment and in the cloud to handle a real traffic you write the code to look in an environment variable named database host okay so locally you set that variable to local host in the cloud you set it to refer kubernetes service that exposes the database component to your cluster so this lets you fetch a container image running in the cloud and debug the exact same code locally if needed the config map is not designed to hold large chunks of data the data stored in a config map cannot exceed 1 mib 1 megabyte so if you need to store settings that are larger than this limit you may want to consider mounting a volume or use a separate database or file service so that's the main motivation of bringing up a config map in kubernetes now we will look into the config map object 
A config map object is an is an API object that lets you store configure configuration for other objects to use. And like most Kubernetes object that have a spec, a config map has data and binary data fields. This is very important. Remember this. Note down this. Mark down this. A config map has a data and binary data fields. So these fields accept key value pairs, specifically key value pairs. We are going to use that. Key value pairs as their values. So both the data fields and the binary data are optional. The data field is designed to contain UTF-8 eight, eight, uh, strings while uh, the binary data field is designed to contain binary data as base64 encoded strings. So uh, before we look into the declarative type of config map, we will see uh, imperative and then we will go for the declarative. So, but uh, let's take, uh, let's get into our instance and uh, yeah, here. So, let me create one and this time I'm going to write mysql dot ml. Okay, just mysql dot ml or mysql cm config dot ml. So what we are going to do is, so we, uh, we will talk about variables also about configuration, how you can inject data in the pod. So now we know pods are disposable. Of course, we know the pods are disposable because we have played with the possible pod. Uh, we have played with the pods so far. So if you want to make change, we have to delete them and create a new pod with a new image, a new container image. So we have the persistent changes, but while we are running the pod, we can also inject variables and configuration in the pod. First, let's uh, first let's uh, talk about environment variables which is very simple assigning a variable so just like uh, what we have seen in bash and python so in a in a part definition file you have to do this so env option name of the variable a uh, value so there we have to mention the information about that so let's do that let's create one mysql uh, environment variable file so that uh, we can get more clarity so here i'm gonna use kind pod yeah so i'll remove this kind one initial yeah rest all is fine pod so name i'm gonna give uh, so this kind is fine my app this is db pod and then label db pod and spec container mysql image i'll give my image that's a cube charon mysql 5.7.1 let's keep this same of course it's not required that's not the point of discussion here so the point of discussion here is port i will uh port is not required in this case so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create one more so it's env Inv. so when we attach an env so there in this we can give our environment variables or list of environment uh, variables so here i am going to say list the first is the name so name of the database i want so i'll mention the name of the database uh, environment variable as mysql database then we have value so that's what that's how we write uh, 
a key value so accounts so this is our environment variable mysql database and then value to that is accounts similarly we have one more this time i am going to use name it's a mysql root password so value it's pass wd whatever it may be some random pass wd so this is how basically these are environment variable and this is how we attach those environment variable with our yeah with our containers now my question is see you have to uh, run a lot of pods with mysql so and uh, by and large you will use the same database name and then same value what will you do will you type this again and again and again forever no no nah. yes of course you have to type because you do not have any option no you have an option that is called config map so this config map what it will do is config map we have using this environment variable specifically you have to create a config map object c m so once you create that config map uh, uh, config map object with this environment variables and later you can inject them in a different way how to inject them we will see that how to inject them into our pod that we are going to see but these are the environment variable and this environment variables can be injected into our uh, pods uh, using config map so now uh, what will we do is let's uh, look into some of the imperative uh, uh, way of doing this of course we are we will we won't be doing and i will i will also not suggest you to do this but however i would like to show the commands yeah show the option i uh, clear the screen so to do that what we can do is cube ctl and create yeah kubectl create config map and db config and here you have to mention from where literal what all things you want to inject that is mysql database and what is the value the value is accounts then one more tool that we want to inject that is from this is imperative way we are injecting imperative way but this is not the way of doing from literal and it's mysql root password and pass wd okay just a minute i'll make it smaller this is our password that's it so and if you click enter so it will be created let me do that 
uh, to remove that hash this is how we can create our config map so error unknown flag uh, f okay so you unknown shorthand flag f in okay somewhere uh, okay we missed okay that's good let me put it here flag it is big my shorthand it's actually longhand flag that's it your config map a db config map has been created now you can say cube ctl get config map cm and you see that you have db config that's the name we have given db config and then uh, we have uh, another cube root ca dot crt that config has not been created by us but whatever it may be so as this is a uh, root uh, this is a default config file and this is created and this one will be used by our configuration file the ca dot certificate so that's how we imperatively create a config file and we see that uh, config file imperatively then we can also do kubectl Here is that. So when you say kubectl, describe that config map and the name of the config map. So you will find all the information. So name name of that config map is db config and namespace is default. By default, it took the default namespace and data. So what all the environment variable it's 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 storing this config map is storing so it's storing mysql database and the values accounts and mysql root password and the password is passwd and there is no binary data here okay this is the data there is the binary data here okay so that's how uh, imperatively it stores uh, this data so in this uh, MySQL uh, uh, container, this container has two variables, uh, which is MySQL underscore database and MySQL root password. And uh, we can basically echo, we can say, you can say echo and dollar. And then if you say MySQL database or MySQL root password, we should get these values uh, respectively if it is mysql database we should get accounts mysql root password we should get uh, passwd value okay so it basically exports these variables in the container so that's how uh, we can set variables for the pod but really this goes uh, beyond this uh, when you are running any application set any stack you will have many variables and also configurations that can change over time so you can use something called as a config maps to store all our variables and configuration at one place it's a storage space a configuration map a config map is a storage space and then whenever you want in any pod you can just inject these variables of files into any pod so that's what uh, we have done it we have seen it uh, using uh, we have done it using imperative way so we have said kubectl then get cm so basically config maps and out of that db config map that's what uh, we have created db config map and option wo and i'll say hamel and here is that the db config map aml that's been created of course we have created it uh, 
imperatively it's not the one which we have used a file but uh, you can take this uh, data as a reference config map uh, uh, data you can just copy this and you can use it in your uh, config uh, file also you see that api version you have to mention and then after that uh, data here you have to mention mysql database these are the two dictionaries a dict that's a key value pairs key and then sorry key and then value a key and then a value or you can call it as a strings also then uh, the name type is config map and metadata is this so name db config namespace default and this is how a config map object looks like so now let me uh, do describe this kubectl we have seen it earlier but one more time uh, i want to show it to you kubectl describe and it is uh, cm and db config let me enter and you see that your db config how it looks uh, it consists of a two environment variables and that's how it looks okay so now let's get into the serious uh, example for that let me come here you see that the config maps documentation oh, but before we come to the documentation let's get into our uh, so slides so now uh, config maps and pods so we can write a pod spec that refers to a config map and configures the containers in that pod based on the data in the config map the pod and the config map must be in the same namespace this is very very important whenever you work on the config maps and then pods for example you have created a config map with uh, some environment variables and some configuration files okay that's absolutely fine but if you want to inject this config map into some pod you have to be make sure that the config map and pod are in the same namespaces if you are not clear about the namespaces you just go back and watch my video uh, where I have talked about the namespaces object. Okay. So here we'll take an example. A config map uh, that has uh, some keys with single values and other keys where the value looks like a fragment of a configuration format. You see that uh, uh, API version kind config map. This is what we have mentioned. And the name of this config map is game demo. We'll use the same name and data. It's begin. The data has begun. So first one is a player initial lives. That is three. This is a single value. And second one is UI properties file name. But here, in spite of value, we gave some properties. User interface dot properties. So that is here. It's mentioned here. So it consists of a lot of values: color dot good, color dot bad, allow dot text mode. So it's like uh, uh, referencing again. So it consists of more. And similarly, game dot properties also. So it's like file like keys. This is not a single key value pair. It's uh, not single value. It consists of a multiple key value pairs. That means it's a file like keys. Okay. Now, what will we do? We will uh, get into our uh, cops and we will create an example. We'll, uh, we'll work on one example. Okay. For that, what I'm going to do, cd root defs, I think, yeah, ls. Yeah, here I'm going to create mkdir. This, this time it is cmdef. So cd cmdef. And inside I'm going to write our first config file. So to write that, let's get into our. Yeah, this is our config maps. 
so here you should you should see about config map object then here you can find out the config maps and pods so you can write a pod spec that refers to config map and configures the containers in that pod based on the data in the config map the pod and config map must be in the same namespace again i'm reiterating this they must be in same namespace don't do this mistake so let's take uh, an example of config map that has some keys with single values and other keys where the value looks like a fragment of uh, um, configuration format. So we'll take this, we'll copy this exactly. We have and so name is the name that we are going to give for this is a sample cm.ml or first cm.ml so let me get into here let me say vim sample cm.ml this is a declarative way we have done it we have created an ml uh, we have created a cm imperatively now we are doing declaratively so let's go through this one more time api version and config map is the object type and the name of this config map is game demo and this consists of a data uh, so one is player initial lives this is a this is a simple value you can see that property like keys each key maps to a simple value and this one is mapping to a simple value and this one is also mapping to a simple value but this again got user interface dot property consists of again three values uh, three values you see that this is key value pair key value pair and this again this value consists of a three key value pairs or and similarly this enemy dot types and okay it's like file like keys these are called file like key file like keys now let me do wq save and quit now let's let me create the config map object so kubectl apply option f and this is sample cm.ml that's it and let's create so the config map the name of the config map is game demo has been created now let's get the kubectl get cm so we got the game demo the config map it consists of four data points not one so four data points so what will we do is uh, we will do kubectl get cm and uh, let's do that let's look into the file itself again kubectl get and this is a config map and the name of the config map is game demo that you can see on the screen and i want it in ml format and here is that yeah it's begin it has begun from here and here you got the data the first one is game dot properties it consists of enemy dot types and aliens monsters a lot of data inside that and then it's a config map metadata annotations and uh, yeah basically this is the data we have total four four okay we will uh, do it in we will look into that in a better way so again let me get the config map kubectl get cm yes now let me describe this describe this kubectl describe cm game demo yeah here you see that so let me scroll up a bit uh, hmm. 
name game demo space default so user data has begun so we have user interface dot properties it consists of three points three data points inside that and you have game dot properties it it consists of again three uh, two values inside that and player initial lives it consists of a uh, three and ui properties file name it consists of user interface dot properties so this is the data that uh, config map consists of events are none so far so now let's uh, get back to our uh, documentation again so if you see there are four different ways that you can use a config map to configure a container inside a pod this is nothing but injecting a configure map or or data points of configure map into the pod how do we do that there are different ways the first one is inside a container in inside a container command and orgs the second one is environment variables for a container and the third one is add a file in a read only volume for the application to read and the fourth one is to write code to run inside the pod that uses the kubernetes api to read a, a config map so these methods uh, lend themselves to different ways of modeling the data being consumed for the first three methods the kubelet uses the data from the config map when it launches containers for a pod the fourth method means you have to write a code to read the config map and its data however because you are using kubernetes api directly your application can subscribe to get updates whenever the config map changes and react when that happens by ascending the kubernetes api directly so this technique is also lets you access a config map in a different namespace that's what we are going to look into now so we will take an example here is an example pod that uses values from game demo to configure a pod so let's exactly copy this or we will look into this here itself and then we'll copy and paste it there so api version v1 pod this is a pod object is pod now metadata config demo pod this is what because we are injecting a config map into this pod so that's why we call it as a config map demo then containers inside the containers these are name of the container is demo image name is alpine and command we have given is a sleep at 36 uh, 3600 seconds then here the game starts env so env this in when we say env env define the environment variable and then first env we have given the keys player initial lives so notice that the case is different here from the key name in the config map so now after that we have said value from so value from we are using config map key ref that's what see in spite of giving value to the environment variable you see that we gave the name this is the key this is the key okay but we what we have done before let me show that here we have mentioned the value this is the this is the key and then below that we have said value and then we have mentioned the value but here we are injecting so that's the reason what i said is value from and we have to mention that config map key ref and then name of the config map is game demo the config map is game demo so that's the value you have to give and then key and, and one more player initial lives the key to fetch okay uh, this is our game demo config let me show that okay. game demo config consists of that key player initial lives you see that this is what they want to fetch okay from game demo config map they want to fetch a key 
player initial lives that's it and then one more environment variable is ui properties file name that's the key and then value again you want to get it from config map key ref that's a name config map git uh, game demo and the key that they were they want to fetch is ui properties file name i'll show you that ui properties file name this is what they want to fetch so then finally we have a volume mounts uh, because using volume mounts you can also store the files inside that so for that we have attached the volume mounts and volume mount name again config and mount path is forward slash config config and read only true so volumes we have to specifically attach a volume object also this is where we have set up the volume object you set volumes at the pod level then mount them into the containers inside the pod so name config and then config map you have to give the reference of the config map that's a game demo and then all the items whatever you want to store in that volume so you have to mention so key game properties path everything so let's uh, copy this and and we will create a file a pod object and inside our okay we're going to create a, a pod object saying sample dot uh, from the sudo i cd root defs ls cd cm def config map def and ls yeah sample cm dot ml is there here i am going to create vim we want to read the cm we want to read uh, we want the pod to read this config map file so that's the reason i am going to name it as vim space read cm pod dot ml so let me execute that and let me say i and paste it complete file and to wq quit uh, save and quit now our file is ready now it's time to create the pod so for that so what i'm gonna do cube ctl apply option f read cm pod dot ml let's execute this that's it pod config map basically this is a pod and config map demo pod that's the name we have attached so that has been successfully created now let me say kubectl get pod and here is that the config map demo pod it's successfully created so now let's uh, log into the pod and uh, check whether check uh, variables and files whether they are existed or not whether they are copied or not for that if you remember for docker we have used exec command yes or no yes or no exec right we will do the same so cube ctl exec and we'll take the input that's std in option long option then tty terminal this is also long option then the name of the pod it's a big one let me copy that it's better config demo pod i'll copy it and paste it here then option 
bin forward slash bin sh yes we are inside the pod you see that we are inside the pod we have inside the dock we are inside that uh, pod so now uh, let's do ls okay as usual it consists of a bin dev home media opt wrote everything so i'm gonna look into the ls you can see the config file here config directory I'll ls option l uh, this is a minimum requirement yeah you have that config the config is a directory correct now let me enter into the config cd config and let me do the lsl ls option l and you see it consists of a two okay let me do the ls only it consists of a game dot properties and user interface dot properties if you remember that so now let's do these are the two files okay ls l r t and it's a linked it's also linked so both are these are not directories these are linked files okay these are linked with uh, these are linked with uh, a data in a direct you have a data directory and inside the directory you have a user interface dot properties and this file in our this file which is in this pod has been linked with uh, another we linked with a file which is inside the data directory and similarly game dot property also linked with dot data and it's a game dot property so these are files so the successfully we are able to store the files also environment variables we have done it now even the files has been stored using volume mount using volumes so now let us cat game dot properties and we'll see what is there inside that you see that the game dot properties consists of uh, enemy dot types is aliens and monsters and player dot maximum lives is five fantastic so now let's cat uh, uh, user interface uh, dot properties and this will consist of information about the color good color is purple bad color is yellow and allow text mode is true so that's what and we can also use uh, uh, we can also echo the variables echo environment variable so i'm gonna say uh, player initial lives player initial lives that's it you see three so player initial lives are three so with this uh, just to come out of this we can say exit yeah you came out so with this uh, we have successfully if you want to just compare validate uh, just say kubectl describe or first we'll get the uh, cm kubectl and uh, get pod kubectl describe pod and config map demo good demo pod and uh, here you should see so all container uh, created container started all are absolutely fine and uh, cube ca dot certificate by default it has taken and here you should see the environment this is what i want to show you this is the mounts here yeah environment player initial lives and ui properties file name 
and mounts these are the information about the mounts and similarly let's also check uh, cube ctl get cm i want to show that also so db uh, it's a game demo so that's what we have used correct we have used a game demo so let me do cube ctl describe and uh, it's a uh, cm and game demo yeah if you remember player initial lives uh, environment variable we have used inside that pod we got it three then we have two file names ua properties uh, uh, sorry user interface properties this is one and game dot property this is another file for the game dot property file this is the information it consists of for the ua properties this is the information consists of so we have successfully validated the same uh, it is there the files and the environment variable has been successfully injected into the pod that we have created hence proved the power of config map